Great, you made it all the way here to Facebook, and you dropped in on us, and we were talking about food photography on the show, so we wanted to impart a few little tips. Jessie is here. She's talking mm -hmm. about condensation. Is I that am. what you said? This is kind of a fun little tip. So sometimes when you're photographing your food, it has to sit out for a while, so you lose all the little drips on your liquid or your glass that you're going to mm -hmm. photograph. So if you just take some water and you dip your fingers in it, and you just go like this around the glass, it makes it looks like, look like there's some condensation on the glass, and it makes your photo look little bit more pretty. Do you put anything on the glass or you just put the Well, just if you the had the scotch guard, you could have, you could do scotch guard, let it dry, and then do that and they would actually sit. But if you didn't ah, do that, you could just fantastic. Easily, easily do that with the water. What do we have here? Okay. So I think one of the most important steps when you get a blog and you're going to start photographing your food is to invest in a couple pieces so you have some fun accessories in your pictures, this is adorable. right? So this little milk carton I've used in so many of my photographs. Sometimes I put syrup in it, sometimes I put milk in it, chocolate milk, but it's just a fun little accessory in the background of your picture. And this is a little milk carton that I got from the grocery store. Mm -hmm. Came with cream in it, save it. Now I use it for all sorts of photos. I'll put brownies in the front, put this milk carton in the back. And then same thing for plates. And what's cool about this is you only have to buy one. You know, you don't have to buy all the 10 plates. Right. So you buy one nice plate and photograph your cake on it one nice napkin and put it in the photo and you're not you know spending a ton of money on the whole get up well sp speaking of spending a ton of money uh -huh. the camera gear can be very very expensive we all know that people have asked me all the time what kind of camera should i get what do i and i'm like well i don't know what you want to shoot but once you start to narrow that down i can tell you some of the basics is you don't need to spend a ton of money on the body of the camera Get a good one. You can get a Rebel, which is an entry-level sort of camera or 60D. This is what you're going to spend your money on, the glass. The lens. This is going, the technology is going to continue to change frequently. What happens with this lens is it stays forever, and they will cost you. The, the higher grade lenses can be well over $2,000, right. So, but this, is, this was my first lens that I purchased. Now, here's something that I do want you to know, and this is a lens hood. When you buy a lens and you spend a lot of money, you need to protect that lens. Don't you, Jesse? Don't you, Jesse? You should. You, you should. should. You've been telling this for a you year. You scratch this optical at the end, the whole lens is ruined. If I scratch this, throw it away, I get a new one, and I put it right back on the front. I cannot tell you, including Julie, who's running the camera right now, who is an amazing photographer herself, didn't have one. They're not that expensive. They're just uh, all um, a neutral um a filter. There's nothing about it fancy. It's just you, you know my birthday sure. is in eight months. Is it really? Yeah. Which should make you a year smarter, <laughs> right? Because you're a year older, which means Wait. you should go out and buy. I just want to put this on record that Mark is being mean to me right now. Not okay? being mean. I'm yeah. just reminding her that she's getting a year older and she's catching up to me. So you will. And if I have to buy you one, really, really, <laughs> I'll pay you but back. she's going. Oh, you already just owe get me it so, so much. You don't have to yell at me anymore. <laughs> I, I haven't sent you the link. I know. To, uh, I think I deleted it. Please, to protect your lenses. It's so, so important. It's, a, it's very affordable to do, especially if you, if you get the high-end ones. That's our tips. I'm glad that you stopped by Facebook. Yeah. Are you? Yes, glad and send us your food photos so we can see yeah, them. Yeah, we'd love to questions. see them. Yep, we'll take care of them. Bye-bye.